All right, so Robert Halliday with Rowan Films here. Uh, I'm doing a little segment called POV Gear, and it's basically me just rummaging through my stuff. And I wanted to do kind of like an unboxing video um, and a, a building video, basically, of uh, the Red D SMC2 um, little package that I have. And I didn't shoot this a year ago when I bought the camera, but I've packaged it up again, kind of like how they deliver it to you. So if you're thinking about getting a red, good on you. Uh, you'll probably spend sixteen to twenty thousand dollars on a new one. If you're looking at the Scarlet W, that's pretty much the cheapest way to do it. Um, I found that the Scarlet W is better than the Raven. Uh, for a few reasons, I had some issues with frame rates with the Raven. Um, so I just did the little step up to the Scarlet W for now. And if I can up upgrade in the future to something, right now they have uh, Gemini that's looking pretty good, and I might do that. But anyway, right now, this is, this is what I've got, and this is everything you need to get started with your red. So um, I've got got all these boxes here I'm gonna open it up and build my camera so this one's kind of you know you don't really need to see me unboxing this it's not incredible it's the the mini mag reader you definitely need one if you're gonna want to read your media so definitely buy that because you cannot do without it and here um, I got the EF mount to go on front and I already had like a bunch of EF lenses so it was just more practical for me to buy this one if any project needs a uh, different different lens mount uh, then I'll just go buy one and but right now everything all the lenses I've got are fine so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and this is how it comes that's the brain this is the scarlet dragon brain side and it's little but it is heavy it's a brick and you know you buy this you can't do anything with it you need to be able to power it up you need to have a memory card that goes in there you need to have a mount um, you need to have a monitor and so everything I have is the basic um, all right I did opt in for the side handle um, but then I quickly realized that I didn't need it that badly. So I sold it. Um, it, it wasn't helpful. Like for what it was, it was almost a thousand dollars. Um, you really don't need it. I got the five inch LCD. Uh, I mean, I thought somebody was breaking in my house, but it's that ice cream or the ice maker on the refrigerator. And then I got the base expander here, and this will allow me to put um, a, ba a V-Log battery on the camera, which, you know, you gotta power the camera, so you, you can either get the, just the V-Log um, mount for it, or you can get the expander, which is, it comes with all these extra options here, which, you know, I, I think you're gonna need, for the most part. Uh, you got DC in, SDI out, HDMI out, and then a little mic for pretty much some more scratch audio, and then headphones. So let's go ahead and build this bad boy. This goes right on the back, and the screws are actually already in there. So you can pull out your handy dandy red tool and screw it on in there. And this is not just an adapter of sorts. This is all connecting to the brain. And when you turn your camera on, it knows exactly what attachments you're putting on your camera. And you're gonna have to buy V-Lock batteries for it too. Those are pretty expensive, but you have to do it. Um, 
I did not buy red brand. I got these. They do just as good. So they're much cheaper. They're very, very powerful. They last a long time. I got three of them and they last all day no they uh they if you cycle three they'll last all day so um when i first got these i tried to put it on there and it would not go okay so this little piece that sticks out just a little bit um it gets in the way so i actually had to shave down this outer part of my battery just a little bit like maybe two millimeters so that it'll go on there and I'm sure Red doesn't want to hear that, but it works. I, I can't say I'd recommend just using Red bricks because they're like $200 each more expensive than these um, Watson Pros. Anyway, back to building. You can put your monitor either here on the top or you can put it here on the side. Um, I usually keep it on the side unless I'm doing a handheld rig um, or if I'm doing a Movi Pro build Then that monitor is gonna have to go somewhere else. It can't go on the camera. It has to go on the Movi Pro itself and if you are um, You know if you're running a drone, I think it has to go on the drone And this is the little protective cover that comes with it. You gotta take that off. And obviously, you're not gonna want to leave that sensor exposed for too long. You're gonna keep it clean and dust free. So yeah, while we wait, I wanted to make these videos. Uh, you know, they're not tutorial videos. I wanted to make them um, because I don't think there's anything else online. When I went to buy my red, I did a ton of research to see what kind of things that I actually need. Um, before spending so much money. And I don't think there's any videos online that actually show you exactly what you're going to need. Um, and one cool thing that I really love about RED is that it is modular. Modular? I don't know if I said that right. But, um, you know, if you want to upgrade your camera... You don't have to sell all of this. You can just upgrade the brain. You can sell the brain and get a new one. And all these little pieces you can keep. All righty. So that's, that's like a really basic build right there. It's three different attachments. Um, of course, Red has a butt ton of different ones that you can do. And also some more attachments that I didn't buy from Red. Um, of course, I had to go with some small rig goodies. And I'll show you those right now. I've got a little top handle because a Red top handle is like $5 trillion. And you can just pop that on the top. And this top handle is, I want to say it's like 30 bucks. I'll probably have to correct myself later. But, you know, anything small rig is very inexpensive. I think the, the most expensive thing they sell is... Um, this little shoulder rig which I will show you in a different video 
And here you've got your, your EF mount there. And boom, you can pop on a lens and then lock it into place. Added security there. And you can grab your little memory card, plug it into the side, boom. Grab your battery, lock it on there. And there you have the cheapest build you can get. It's powering on, it's ready to rock and roll. Um, now I will say this as itself is not super comfortable to hold. Um, I have an easy rig and an easy rig is not very expensive. That's a thing you wear on your back and it goes over your head and it's got a tether that comes down and you can clamp it right here to take all this weight off. And it'll basically just be sitting there right in front of you and you can do that, um, which is a great option. Um, or you can get some side handles. I think um, Tilta Nucleus M has a really good inexpensive system for uh, it's like a handheld thing and you can attach some rails and build this contraption. It's going to get heavier and heavier though. So if you're concerned about weight, don't go too far from this. But uh, in the next video I'm going to post, it's actually how I built my handheld rig as light as possible without, you know, looking like a, 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 an eyesore having all this gear attached to you. So there you have it. Red is ready to rock and roll.